The stage is being set for the end time, according to some people who have been sending me articles concerning this new one world religion headquarters that is uh, at, that started in 2019 and opened in 2022. But I'm going to have to disagree. They are basing this on the fact of Revelation 17, where it talks about a one world government, one world economics, as well as a one world religion. And that is something that will be ushered in by this Antichrist, because this is after um, the seven bowls, seven plagues from the scrolls and the seven uh, horns that are sounded. And we have the, the rapture doctrine has happened or maybe not happened. And the three and the Antichrist has taken over and the three and a half years of peace has now gone away. The earthquakes would have happened. The waters turned into blood. Uh, the wormwood asteroid should have hit. And all these things would have happened. And this is be the setup for the Antichrist to come in. Although there are a couple of problems with this whole scenario that makes it not part of the Revelation 17 prophecy that you are claiming that's going to happen. Now, let's talk about those things for a moment. One of the first things that we have to look at is that according to your scripture, this one world religion will be headquartered in Jerusalem, that this is the temple that your Antichrist is going to come and desecrate and be killed at and rise again you know, from death and become this one world leader and become this new Messiah. This is in Jerusalem is where he's supposed to set up his one world religion. I would have given you more credit if on that space where the Dome of the Rock is where Abraham's temple was, if, and I know that there are some people talking about they're building a temple next to it, then they would also build a Christian church on that same rock. You might have a little bit of something to say at that point, but no, this is being built in Abu Dhabi. That's right, Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. This is being built in a place where Sharia law, Sharia law is still practiced. So therefore, it is not in the right location in order for it to be that culmination of a one world religion. The other aspect of it, there's a reason why this is called the Abrahamic house and not the one world religion house. Because what you're looking at is a world population right now of about 8 billion people. Out of that 8 billion people, half of them are Christians and Islamic. Judaism is not the third most largest religion on the planet. Even when you add those who practice Judaism into the numbers of Christianity and Islam, you're still barely getting about 51 percent of the population. The other 49 percent of the population is of another religion or none religious at all. The overwhelming majority being of some type of religion. Um, based on their country of origin and things of that nature, family and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, uh, the third largest religion is actually a is secular, non-religious and agnostics and atheists. Those groups make up the third largest, which is one point one billion, one point nine billion, one point one nine eight billion people. Fourth is Buddha is Hinduism. One point one six one billion. This is a 2020 Pew Research. And then Buddhism is 506 million. Chinese traditional religion is 394 million. Ethnic religions, um, excluding the ones that are separate in separate categories below here, are 300 million. African traditional religions are 100 million. Skeetism, 26 million. Spiritualism, 16 million. Then you have Judaism at 14.7 million people. So far and away, there are a little less than half the population who does not agree with the Abrahamic religions. And therefore, this cannot be nor should it be titled the one world religion because half the population does not agree with the Abrahamic, any version of the Abrahamic religions of the headquartered Abraham family, Abrahamic family um, headquarters. It's not part of it. Mm -mm. So. This cannot be. And then to build it in a place where it is illegal for for Jews or Christians to prophesize to Islamic people that if you walked out of that building, the Christian one, because as you see, there are three buildings, a mosque, a church and a temple. 
if you walk out of those, the Christian building or the temple, and try to prophesize to Islamic people, you will be arrested. Sure, Allah says you must be. They, you will be arrested because it's illegal. Now, if you cannot do that, then you cannot fulfill your mission of go and prophesy to all the people of the world. If this is the one world religion, the other aspect of it is that a cross cannot be hung on any building in Abu Dhabi or in the Emirates or Saudi Arabia or most of those most Arab countries. So there are no crosses on your building. You cannot promote your religion in any way, shape or form. That is why many churches are going churches and church organizations have went against this one world religion headquarters or the Abrahamic family house. So this is not a harbinger of the one world religion. This is not leading to the fulfillment of Revelation 17. It is in the wrong place set up by the wrong people ruled by the wrong people in order for it to be facilitated. If it was in Jerusalem, I would give you a little bit more credit. But it's not, nor does it have the right people. If you wanted to make one a one world religion, the people that you have to have in your camp would be the Christians, the Muslims, the non-religious circular, and you have to have the Hindu. You got to have the Hindu and the Buddhist. You have to have them as part of it because the Hindu and the Buddhist are representing 1.6 billion people. 1.6 billion. You need that 1.6 billion in order to make it a world religion. Without that, you will never be able to have the one world religion. Then you got to get the Chinese traditional, then the, eth the uh, ethnic religions, then the African traditional religions. There are so many other people who outnumber the Jewish population, as well as when you look at individually. Those groups outnumber any one of the Christian or the Islamic. So therefore, this is not the coming of the Antichrist, nor the fulfillment of your Bible. So I thank you guys for sending me this, but this is not proof. So y'all have a great day. Remember, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Good vibration.